It's the Mueller Report. This is page 84. They're talking about George Papadopoulos. Following his meeting with Mifsud, Papadopoulos sent an email to members of the Trump campaign's foreign policy advisory team. The subject line of the message was, meeting with Russian leadership, including Putin. The message stated in pertinent part, quote, I just finished a very productive lunch with a good friend of mine, Joseph Mifsud, the director of the London Academy of Diplomacy, who introduced me to both Putin's niece and the Russian ambassador in London, who also acts as a deputy foreign minister. The topic of the lunch was to arrange a meeting between us and the Russian leadership to discuss U.S.-Russia ties under President Trump. They are keen to host us in a neutral city or directly in Moscow. They said the leadership, including Putin, is ready to meet with us and Mr. Trump should be there should be their interest. Waiting for everyone's thoughts on moving forward with this very important issue. Page 85. Papadopoulos' message came at a time when Clovis perceived a shift in the campaign's approach toward Russia, from one of engaging Russia through the NATO framework and taking a strong stance on Russian aggression in Ukraine, to deleted by, by uh, Bill Barr. Clovis's response to Papadopoulos, however, did not reflect that shift. Replying to Papadopoulos and other members of the Foreign Policy Advisory Team copied on the initial email, Clovis wrote, quote, This is most informative. Let me work it through with the campaign. No commitments until we see how this plays out. My thought is that we probably should not go forward with any meetings with the Russians until we have had occasion to sit with our NATO allies, especially France, Germany, and Great Britain. We need to reassure our allies that we are not going to advance anything with Russia until we have everyone on the same page. More thoughts later today. Good work. C. March 31 Foreign Policy Team Meeting. The campaign held a meeting to the Foreign Policy Advisory Team with Senator Sessions and candidate Trump approximately one week later on March 31, 2016, in Washington, D.C. The meeting, which was intended to generate press coverage for the campaign, took place at the Trump International Hotel. Papadopoulos flew to Washington for the event. At the meeting, Senator Sessions sat at one end of an oval table while Trump sat at the other. As reflected in the photograph below, which was posted to Trump's Instagram account, Papadopoulos sat between the two, two seats to Sessions' left. And there's a photo. Uh, page 86. During the meeting, each of the newly announced foreign policy advisors introduced themselves and briefly described their areas of expertise or experience. Papadopoulos spoke about his previous work in the energy sector and then brought up a potential meeting with Russian officials. Specifically, Papadopoulos told the group that he learned through his contacts in London that Putin wanted to meet with candidate Trump and that these connections could help arrange that meeting. Trump and Sessions both reacted to Papadopoulos' statement. Papadopoulos and campaign advisor J.D. Gordon, who told investigators in an interview that he had crystal clear recollection of the meeting, have stated that Trump was interested in and receptive to the idea of meeting with Putin. Papadopoulos understood Sessions was, in, was uh, to be similarly supportive of his efforts to arrange a meeting. Gordon and two other attendees, however, recall that Sessions generally opposed the proposal, although they differ in their accounts of the concerns he voiced or the strength of the opposition he expressed. D. George Papadopoulos learns that Russia has dirt in the form of Clinton's emails. Whatever Sessions' precise words were at the March 31st meeting, Papadopoulos did not understand Sessions or anyone else in the Trump campaign to have directed that he refrain from making further efforts to arrange a meeting between the campaign and the Russian government. To the contrary, Papadopoulos told our office that he understood the campaign to be supportive of his efforts to arrange such a meeting. Accordingly, when he returned to London, Papadopoulos resumed those efforts. Throughout April 2016, Papadopoulos continued to correspond with, meet with, and seek Russian contacts through Mifsud and, at times, Pol Polonaska, Polonskaya. For example, within a week of her initial March 24 meeting with him, Polonskaya attempted to send Papadopoulos a text message, which email exchanges showed to have been drafted or edi edited by Mifsud, addressing Papadopoulos' wish to engage with the Russian Federation. When Papadopoulos learned from Mifsud that Polonskaya had tried to message him, he sent her an email seeking another meeting. Polonskaya responded the next day that she was back in St. Petersburg, but would be very pleased to support Papadopoulos' initiatives between our two countries and to meet him again. Papadopoulos stated in reply that he thought a good step would be to introduce him to the Russian ambassador in London and that he would like to talk to the ambassador or anyone else you recommend about a potential foreign policy trip to Russia. Mifsud, who had been copied on the email exchanges, replied on the morning of April 11, 2016. He wrote, Quote, this has already been agreed. I am flying to Moscow on the 18th for a Valdai meeting, plus other meetings at the Duma. We will talk tomorrow. End quote. 
The two bodies referenced by Mifsud are part of or associated with the Russian government. The Duma is a Russian legislative assembly, while Valdal refers to the Valdal Discussion Club, a Moscow-based group that is close to Russia's foreign policy establishment. Papadopoulos thanks, thanked Ms. Sood and said that he would see him, quote, tomorrow. For her part, Polanskaya responded that she had already alerted my personal links to our conversation and your request, and that we are all very excited the possibility of a good relationship with Mr. Trump, and that the Russian Federation would love to welcome him once his candidate has officially announced. Page 88. <clears throat> Papadopoulos' and Mifsud's mentions of seeing each other tomorrow referenced a meeting that the two had scheduled for the next morning, April 12, 2016, at the Andaz Hotel in London. Papadopoulos acknowledged the meeting during interviews with our office, and records from Papadopoulos' UK cell phone and his internet search history all indicate that the meeting took place. It's the, it's the Mueller report. <clears throat> 